This tutorial will show you how to use PBS website for educators. They call it PBS Learning Media. If you want, you can register and set up an account and log in. You do not have to for this course, but if you register for the account, it will allow you to favorite and share resources with your class and colleagues. So that's up to you. That's why you'd want to create an account. If you decide you want to create an account, you can click register now. I save all my stuff to delicious, so I don't create an account for PBS, but that's up to you. So you click on register now and fill out what they're asking you to do. I'm not going to go through this. I think you can handle setting up an account if you want to. Finding resources on PBS Learning Media is pretty simple to do. There are three ways you can find resources. Browse by standards, browse by subject and grade, or do a straight search. I would pick browse by grade or subject or browse by standard depending what you know you're looking for. Maybe you're looking for something that relates to a standard instead of the search box because the search box does not filter items and you can come up with too many so I would do one of these two. Let's take a look at browse by standards. When you browse the standards first you can pick which standards you're looking at. They don't have state standards they have common core and national. If you click common core standards it will go with English language arts and literacy or the college and career readiness standards in math. If you look at the national standards these are the ones that they offer. Benchmarks for science, college and career readiness, standards for foreign language. So if any of these apply to you, so if you're a phys ed teacher, these might, a social studies teacher, these might, those are the standards you can look through. So I'm just going to go back to Common Core, and I'm going to select Angwood, Language and Literacy. It does also let you select grades, and the best part is you can do grade more than one grade. If you have a specific topic in mind, I would recommend putting in a keyword. It will narrow your search down. So just say I'm looking for something on folk tales. I hit browse, and then below it will show the standards that relate Common Core English to these grade levels. Now notice there's no K and 1. There's just 2 and 3. Watch what happens if I take off K and 1 and hit Browse. There are no standards. So obviously there's no standards in Common Core that talk about folktales. So if I do K, if I do 2 and 3 and 4 and hit Browse, there's just 2 and 3. So I guess doesn't talk about folk tales in four. So then what I can do is maybe I'm looking for something about key ideas and details. If you click on it, this is where it gets a little tricky and I don't love it. It shows you the 31 results, but notice it is just for the standard key ideal and do details. It doesn't have that I wanted it for folk tales again. It doesn't have it for the grade level. You can sort it different ways, though, which is great. So I could say A to Z order. Now, relevance, if you do notice, it does look like there's a bunny in here and maybe these are folk tales, but not necessarily. So I can then try to narrow it down again by grade level if I want. And it's automatically doing it even though you didn't see anything. And I can also look down here and check out subject areas again. And I also can look at the media type. Is it a video? Is it an interactive? An interactive usually means a website that they can interact with. Is it a document? Is it a lesson plan? So if I'm looking for lesson plans, I can then click on lesson plan. And up here, it always tells you what you're sorting by. Media type lesson plan, key ideas and details, grade two and three. Notice it doesn't seem to necessarily be picking up 
the folk tales. But if I look at the choices, this says folk tale, hero, and Anasi the spider. So I'm assuming that it is that is some kind of folk tale or fairy tale. So just because it doesn't say up here, it's still looking for folk tales. There's also browse by options up here, which is the same thing as was on the main page, which will I go back to and show you. The other way to search is browsing by grade and subject. Here you can select multiple grade levels and then a subject. Notice there is not a keyword search on this one. So you have to decide which one you think works better for you, browsing by standard or browsing by grade and subject. Then you just hit search selected grades and subject and once again, you can see, wow, there's 2,000 results, all these grades, all these subjects. So here's where you might want to look down and narrow things down. Is it something on earth science you're looking for? Is it something on engineering, on life science? So maybe I'm looking for earth science and space. So if I do that, it narrows the results even further. I can scroll down and even pick, do I want a video? Do I want a web page, an interactive, a lesson plan? So I can click on interactive and it's going to show me there's now down to 38. So if one thing you want to think about, the difference when you're doing this, if you know a standard, it seems to bring up less, which is great, but it depends on what you're looking for. And once again, the browse by options are basically the same thing as the search by grade and standard on the main page. If you do decide to create an account, the dashboard is something you will have access to. Also, if you decide to create an account, you will have access to their tools, which is a lesson plan builder, a quiz maker, and a storyboard. Once again, this is not required of this course, but if you register, you can investigate the tools and the dashboard. So if you do find the PBS site to be really, really good for you, it might be worth it to register so you can do all these different things.